Aladdin and the Magic Lamp, a Twin Sisters ebook, written by Eric Subin. Once upon a time, there lived a thoughtless boy named Aladdin. He never helped his poor mother, but instead laughed and sang all the time. One day, as Aladdin was playing with his friends, a stranger appeared. I am your uncle, the stranger said. Come with me and I will show you wonders. The stranger was not really Aladdin's uncle. He was an evil wizard. The wizard led Aladdin out of the city and far into the desert. At a certain spot, he stopped and shouted, Alakazam! With a roar, the earth opened before him. Now, jump down, said the wizard. In the cave, you will find a lamp. Bring it here. Aladdin did as the wizard told him. Hand the lamp to me, said the wizard. First, pull me up, said Aladdin, or else you may take the lamp and leave me behind. The wizard was so angry, he stamped his foot in rage. The desert sand closed over Aladdin's head. Now Aladdin was trapped in the cave. What will become of me, he cried. His hands, shaking with fear, rubbed against the lamp. Whoosh! A genie appeared. I am the genie of the lamp, the genie said. How may I serve you? Take me home, Aladdin replied. In the wink of an eye, Aladdin was home again. One day, soon after, Aladdin saw a beautiful princess and loved her at once. Mother, he said, go tell the Sultan that I want to marry his daughter. Off went Aladdin's mother, but the Sultan, who was greedy, said, First, let Aladdin send me forty golden bulls filled with, with jewels. Aladdin laughed when he heard the Sultan's words. He rubbed the lamp and told the genie his wish. The genie caused forty servants to appear, each carrying a golden bowl. Aladdin and his mother rode behind them in splendor. All this show made the Sultan greedier still. Before you can marry my daughter, he said, you must build her a great palace. Aladdin went home, rubbed the lamp, and told the genie his wish. Next morning, when the Sultan awoke, a huge marble palace stood in his backyard. The marriage took place that very day. News of Aladdin's good fortune soon reached the evil wizard in his own distant land. I must get that lamp, the wizard said as he set out for Aladdin's city. The wizard waited until Aladdin was away from home. Then he dressed as an old peddler. New lamps for old, cried the peddler. The princess heard this strange cry. She did not know the magic of Aladdin's lamp. Here, peddler, she called, holding out the lamp. Give me a new lamp for this old one. The wizard changed lamps with the princess and joyfully sped away with his prize. He rubbed it and the genie appeared. Carry Aladdin's palace to my country, the wizard commanded. Whoosh! It was done. Next morning, when Aladdin returned home, his palace was gone, and so was his princess. Aladdin searched the world until he heard people talk of a marble palace that had sprung up overnight. Soon, Aladdin was climbing through a palace window. The princess was overjoyed to see him. Put this potion in the wizard's drink, 
Aladdin said. I will hide until you do. At dinner time, the princess gave the wizard the potion. As the wizard fell into a deep sleep, the lamp slipped from his robe. Aladdin sprang from his hiding place, grabbed the lamp, and rubbed it. How may I serve you? asked the genie. Take us home, said Aladdin. The genie picked up the palace and sped with it through the night sky. Soon, Aladdin's palace was back in its rightful place, and the evil wizard was led away in chains. And Aladdin and his princess lived happily ever after.